Home screen is where you go to launch your favorite apps, apply your favorite wallpaper, and add widgets. Hi folks, this is Chuck Connor. In this video, I'm going to take you through a tour around the Samsung Galaxy s new home screen and see some of the ways you can customize and make it your own. Samsung home screen gives you a few options to customize it. Starting from applying your favorite wallpaper to adding shortcuts to your favorite apps and widgets and also placing your app icons in the way that you want them to be placed. Let's start with the app drawer. The app drawer is where you find all of your installed apps. In previous Samsung devices, you had the all apps icon. Now in with S8, you don't have them. In other words, it's been disabled by default. Samsung has given you two new gestures instead to navigate to the app drawer very quickly. From your home screen, if you swipe down, you get the app drawer or you swipe up, you get the app drawer. Now you can swipe left and right and that basically navigates your installed apps. Now if you want to add an app to your home screen, you just go to your desired app, long press it and you get the options to add shortcut to your home screen. And that will take and add the icon in the next available free space in your home screen. Now if you don't want the icon, you just long press the icon again and remove shortcut. Now, if you do want to put the icon in the desired place rather than letting the app drawer to decide where to put the icon, you just long press, hold it for a few seconds, and now you get the guide. You can see the miniature plus icons over there, which will tell you in which places you can drop this icon. So let me drop it here. Of course, if I don't want this, I can long press and remove the shortcut. One of the other options you have in your app drawer is the ability to search for apps. Of course, you can go through this long list and select the app you want, or you can basically search for the app that you're looking for. Say, for example, I can type play, and I'm going to get several results along with my applications installed. Some of the applications that I can quickly go search in the Play Store and Galaxy apps. I also get some results from my Google Play Music and also from the settings where now I can quickly go to um, the setting if I am looking for that. So it's pretty handy and if you want to place this icon say in your home you long press and you get the option to add to home screen or there's a neat little feature locate app which will then locate the app in your app drawer with a small dancing feature. So it's pretty neat and it easily allows you to search for an app quickly in your smartphone. Now, applying wallpaper. So applying wallpaper is the same as any other Android device or any other Samsung in that case. You just long press and you get the wallpapers and themes. Wallpapers will give you the ability to add new wallpapers to your home screen and lock screen as well. You got the new Infinity wallpaper with Samsung S8 and S8 Plus. They are a live wallpaper that moves around with the way that you tilt your screen. So it's pretty neat. So if you set this as wallpaper, now you can see that it's always set now with the lock screen and the home screen. You could also browse some of the themes. Themes let you customize your device just beyond the wallpaper. It, and it can give you custom icons, it can give you custom color panels and things like that. I would highly recommend you to try one of those. You get some free themes as well as you get paid themes as well. The next option are the widgets. So if you long press again, you see the widgets option. This is no different to any other Android smartphone or Samsung smartphone that you have used before. So you pick your desired widget, you long press and you can drop it in your home screen. And if you don't want that, of course, you can long press and remove the widget. The last one is the home screen settings. So what we have done so far have been that we chose to use the options given to us. If you want to customize some of those options, you could go to the home screen settings and here you will get options to customize them. So let's start with the apps button. This is what we were talking about, right? The apps button is disabled by default in Samsung S8, but you can get to this apps button option and enable to show apps button. So now if I apply this and go to my home screen, you see the apps button is back. 
and this is how you might remember your previous Samsung devices. I can now click the apps button and navigate to the app drawer. But you still get the swipe down or swipe up to get your um, app drawer. The other options that we have are the home screen layout. The home screen layout is basically, I feel, uh, it, it makes comfortable for iPhone users switching to Android because the home screen only option is what you pretty much have been um, using it in iPhone, right? So you only have a home screen and you got a bunch of icons in the next screen. So if you apply this, you will see that now all of my customizations that I had before the icons, the widgets have gone and I basically get a long running list of apps installed. Well, if you don't want that, you can always go back to your home screen settings, change the home screen layout to home and apps screens. That will bring back the app drawer. So now if I apply this, you still got the apps icon, the previous setup that I had, and also swipe down and up, you get to the app drawer. The other options allow you to customize the home screen grid size. You can choose 5 cross 5, 4 cross 6, or 4 cross 5. I've chosen the 5 cross 5 because it gives me more space to add icons and widgets. And also the app screen grid. So the app drawer, I chose 5 cross 6. You could choose the 4 cross 6 as well. You can also hide apps. So if you don't want some apps showing up in the app drawer, you could hide them as well. The last option is the edge panels. So with Samsung S8, the edge panels are available by default, which means that you don't have to go look for an edge model like S6 Edge Plus or S7 Edge. So you can see the edge shortcut here, this white bar over here. If you swipe left, you get the edge panels. And these edge panels are customizable, so you can choose which ones you want. Here I have my Apps Edge, my People Edge, Smart Select, device maintenance, weather, calendar, and whatnot. So you can add more. If you click this gear icon over here, you get the options available for you. Some are available by default when you switch on your phone and configure it. If you want more, you can click download and that takes you to the Edge Store where you can download some of the Edge panels. Some are free and some uh, will cost you. So that's pretty much it. That's the Edge panel support in Samsung S8. So these are a few options available for you with the Samsung S8 home screen. These are not as advanced as a custom launcher like Nova Launcher. Um, no way, they are as close as what they offer. But for new users and Samsung users, I think this is a good compromise and gives you ways to customize it um, um, and put icons on your screen, put widgets on your screen, also customize the layout a little bit to suit your needs. And the infinity wallpapers are a great addition to S8, the infinity display. So that's for it today. If you like my video, please subscribe to my channel. I'll be back with more videos. And if you have any comments, please share them too. See you next time. Until then, bye.